Right, so today's vlog comes from the allotments and at home, my various compost piles. Uh, there are, it should be of quite good interest because these are all the difficult to compost piles and um, experimental stuff that I've done during late winter. And I want to see how they turned out and I'll just go through, I'll try not to go through each individual one too much because it become boring. <laughs> we don't want that to happen, do we? No. Anyway, look, I'll try and keep each one as brief as possible. I'll make sure that I put the ingredient list on the screen at the same time so you can see what's actually gone in there. And you can see how each one's look, looking. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'm quite inspired, to be honest with you. It's really nice to have a bit of success and a bit of a Good turn of events for change. Ooh, a bit dry inside, but this is, you know, there's quite a lot of bit of woods in it, but this was from all the rubbish. Um, from the garden. Bits of horrible stuff that I never thought would break down, but look. Out there, look. Absolutely lovely. I am so pleased with this. It's untrue. There's just seen something then. There's one, oh it's gone, it's one holly leaf in here that shouldn't be here and broken down yet. Lots of twigs, but I could if I want to sift that out. That, that is my version of a success story. Right, we're back home now. And this is my water container that's been fractured in the bottom, so it leaks. And I filled it with really tough ingredients, all shredded by the lawnmower. It's not something I like doing, but I think I needed to break down the surface structure. Long Camellia Rhododendron box, really tough stuff. And really, the the sawdust or the cat litter is there to soak up nitrogen and lay on top of it to help it rot after lo lovely stuff I have topped up again although I haven't shredded it with a lawnmower this time let's just see how it goes just want to see how this layer on top breaks down and of course I'll be adding cat's litter again it should have a small nitrogen content in it and in case it doesn't uh, here's an acid ingredient from somebody who needs to drink more water. <laughs> so that was it to the autumn. This pile is quite interesting in as much as it's less nasty browns because this is bracken, herbivore, salt, paper and wood shavings. Again, this should give me a reasonable compass, but it's only got grass clippings and urine as the greens. Let's so see how this would do. It's on its way at the moment. Then this compost was started a little while ago. It's only been turned once so far. I thought I'd try it. See how it goes. Not looking bad actually. I'm going to start adding stuff to the top. Weeds and the like. No, seriously, not this soon, but, um, And we'll see how we get on with it. It is too dry at the moment, so I'm going to tidy it up and then I am going to apply a bit of moisture, a few leaves on top. I'm not going to turn it, I'm going to leave it. Let's see how it goes until autumn time. 
and this is my at home worm bin uh, that's just shown the tap that I drain it from and this is how I get rid of a lot of my food scraps from the kitchen uh, really simple food scraps nothing difficult whatsoever but I just wanted to quickly flip it in because uh, yeah it works quite well for me see the worms there very happy contents are looking absolutely superb but it's nice and easy closed and no smells for at home the last section of this video is going to be turning this one out it's um i've already done it but i've recorded the intro. it's all the good stuff really so it, it's not difficult stuff just a little reminder of what i'm doing with the weeds that have got mud on and obviously weed seed in amongst it this is designed to be hot heat kills the weed seed yeah should work so i've been added greens to top because i wanted to keep them aside when i actually was doing this um they'll be added into the pile but what i want to show you is the actual pile how it looks today it's had a good couple turns about three three turns so far and it's had a, a second edition of weeds which set it off but it needs more uh it's quite bracken dominated very good quality fine bracken and it'll make wonderful compost but it needs a bit more yet hey <laughs> So I'll put the compost bin back on and I'll turn around the other half of the compost. If you've been on this channel before you'll see that I don't actually turn all of the pile out. I like to remove a third and then turn it. In this particular case, um, I wanted to show you for the video how good the contents are so far. I hope that suits. So basically I've left a good foot of browns in the bottom and the greens are all you know are mostly weeds there's all sorts in here there's there's even uh, bindweed in there the green part not the not the roots that'll be absolutely fine it'll all go um, I tend to remove the roots of any of the nasties and do them separately you know in water but these with green tops get layered in to the compost or the brown should I say I'll put this on fast speed just to if anybody wants to watch it they can do you can always fast forward to the end it's no problem whatsoever but for many people I think the process is quite important because you can copy it and do it yourselves why not I've used bracken, but you could really easily use shredded paper, shredded cardboard. Those two ingredients again would easily break down in the same time scales. In fact, probably faster. Um, and it's really good to get rid of your own waste, of course. But bracken is my thing. <laughs> There's the greens off the top. <laughs> I'm arguing with the tree there. That's my, one of my apple trees looking good this year for a good crop of apples certainly hope so apart from the drought anyway so back to, back to the weeds plenty of soil on the roots again i'm hoping for heat so that the weed seeds are destroyed or partly destroyed at least and there's a matter of laying layering in the browns right at the top when you're finished i'm just flipped it out again just so you can see how the layers are mixed in there is more layers low down it just they've been covered over thank you very much for watching again hope you found this video of interest of use a little bit of use perhaps that'll be good thank you very much for joining me see you on the next one Now then, the next video should be next week, hopefully next week. The crop's got to finish first though. 
is comparing the growth and the yields from the five different ways of preparing a bed. No digged, dug, mulched. I could run for that time, but the results are very different. There's three different crops in here. The strawberries, brassicas, and new potatoes. And each reflects a different result, and it's very interesting. See you next week.